Hello budget people and welcome to my channel. I'm She's on a Budget and today we are back for another video. In this video I'll be setting up my budget for November and if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in watching, stay tuned. Okay guys, so I'm back for part two of setting up my November budget. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for clicking on yet another video. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you enjoy the video. And if you do, please do not forget to leave a comment down below. This is part two of setting up my November budget. So in my previous video, I came in, I set up my monthly overview section and my November budget spread, as well as my debt tracker and sinking funds. Now, in order for me to set up my November budget, I need the information from these two areas because they make up part of my budget. If you're using this video to set up your own budget, and you do not have any debt or sinking funds, then you could dive straight into setting that up. But because I do, I'll start here first and then add these figures into my budget. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my debt tracker first of all. I currently have four debts outstanding. I do keep the names of the creditors private and I use numbers to refer to each debt. So I have debt five, six, seven, and eight. I used to have eight debts in total, but we paid off debts one to four. We still have these four outstanding. With my first debt, I have an outstanding balance of 988 pounds and 25 pence. For debt five though, I'm currently not paying any money towards the debt. It is currently on hold. It has been on hold for quite some time. I think it was just before lockdown or at the beginning of lockdown, I decided to put this debt on hold. We are currently back in lockdown for another month or so, but it looks like it will be going on for a lot longer than that. So we'll see what happens with this debt. But at the moment, we're not paying any money towards that. Debt six, we have an outstanding balance of 640 pounds and 13 pence. For this debt, I am paying 75 pounds a month. With this debt, I started with a balance of over a thousand pounds. So to get it down to this figure, I'm really, really excited. I'm hoping to have cleared this debt by the early part of next year. So 75 pounds for that one. Debt seven, we have an outstanding balance of 2,339 pounds and 20 pence. And like debt five, this is also on hold. So I'm not paying any money towards this debt at the moment. And then we have debt eight, which is 5,789 pounds and 13 pence. And I'm currently paying 60 pounds for this one. When I first started paying this debt off, it was a balance of over 7,000. So it's taken me a couple of years to do that, but we are currently in the five. So I know this one is going to be a long-term journey, but I'm just gonna keep chipping away at it, guys. But I'm still making steps in the right direction. Okay, so I'm just gonna add these up. And that is a total of nine thousand seven hundred and fifty six pounds and seventy one pence so my current outstanding debt is that amount the amount that i'm paying towards debt this month though is 75 add 60 which is 135 pounds this is the figure that i need to add into my november budget the rest of the information I will come back at the end of the month and fill in. So if I make any extra money towards debt, I'll come back and fill that in and then I'll put my final balance for the month here. So next I'm going to fill in my sinking funds tracker and I've bought out my sinking funds binder to help me with that. So I have got all of my envelopes inside of this binder. I'm just going to take them out so that I can count them individually. The categories that I'm currently tracking are So 
So what I'm going to do in this section is put down all of the balances and the amounts that I've budgeted to add into each envelope this month. Okay, so we're starting with our car tax and our car tax should have a balance of 90 pounds. We have got 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 pounds in here. So I can put this back in the envelope and put that down here. Next we have car maintenance and car maintenance should have a balance of 120 pounds. I've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. Next we have car insurance. Car insurance, we should have a balance of 925. So we have got 50, 100, 50, 200, 50, 300, 50, 400, 50, 500, 50, 600, 50, 700, 50, 850, 20, 40, 60, 75. So that is 925 altogether. Next I have gifts and for gifts we should have 60 pounds in here. So we have got 20, 40, 50, 60. And next we have Harley. This is for my pet dog. And I should have 20 pounds in here. So I've just got 20 pounds in this envelope. Jada, who is my eldest daughter, we should have 175 pounds in here for her. So I've got 50, 100, 50, 60, 75. Next I have Nevea. Nevea, we should have 40 pounds in this envelope. And we have got 20, 40 for her. My personal sinking fund is next and I should have £170 in here. So I've got 50, 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 5, 70. Next I have Tyrese, and Tyrese should have 135 in here. We have got 50, 100, 20, 35. And then the last one that we are going to count is my water bill. So we have got, or we should have 145 pounds in here. So I have 50, 100, 20, 45. And that is all done. Okay, so these envelopes here, 
do not have any money in them at the moment, but I keep them at the back of my bank. I can now come in and add up my total balance. So I have got... and we have got 1,880 pounds. So that is my total balance for my sinking funds. I'm just going to put down the amounts that I want to add to each envelope this month. So I am going to be putting 10 pounds into my car tax envelope. This envelope is to pay for my car tax next year. Car maintenance, I am adding in 40 pounds this month. And for this envelope, I'm just saving up as much money as I can for anything that's car related, so repairs, servicing, anything like that. Car insurance is next and I'm adding in 85 pounds. And this is again for another bill that is due next year. So I'm hoping to pay my car insurance up front. Next we have gifts and for gifts, I am adding in 10 pounds this month. And Harley's next and Harley is my pet dog and I'm adding in 20 pounds into her envelope this month. Next we have my daughter Nevea, sorry Jada and we are adding in 20 pounds. So the balances from each of my children's sinking funds are given to them on their birthday for what they wish. My two older children have free reign over what they want to spend that money on. So I'm adding into her envelope 20 pounds this month. Then next we have my personal sinking fund and I'm also putting 20 pounds in that envelope as well. Then I have Tyrese and he is also getting 20. And then the last envelope that I'm going to stuff this month is water. And this is my water bill, which is due next April. And again, I'm just wanna pay the whole balance off in one go instead of paying in the way that I have been so far. Okay, so I'm just gonna add these all up. Okay, so the total amount is 260 pounds. So I'm just gonna put that down the bottom here. So for the rest of the information for my sinking funds tracker, I'll come back in and fill in at the end of the month. So any money that I take out will go in this column here, and then I will put down my closing balances for each envelope. So now that I've filled in the amounts that I'm going to pay towards debt, and my sinking funds, I can come in now and complete my budget for November. So the first thing that I'm going to put down is my income, so my predicted income for the month. And I have income sources from my full-time job. And I have some variable income. So my son gives me money for housekeeping on a weekly basis, and I also get money from tutoring privately. Then I have my Etsy, shop income as well. Okay, so the predicted amounts for each of those, I have a full-time salary of 1,693 pounds. It tends to be spot on that amount. And then for my variable income, we are looking at 622 pounds and 32 pence. For my Etsy income, I am paying myself £30 again this month. So in total, we have £2,332.25. Now I'm going to fill in my expenses. I'm going to do my variable expenses first. So I have groceries. I have my household expenses, so all non-food expenses, fuel, so diesel for my car, utilities, so gas and electricity for me is classed as utilities, my sinking funds, and I'm just going to put down S funds and my tithe. 
and I've moved my tithe over to variable expenses because although it is technically a fixed amount, it's always 10% of my income. If my income does change, then that figure will also change. So I'm just going to put it down here and then if anything happens with my income this month like it did last month, I can then change that number as well. My predicted amounts for each of these are 160 pounds for groceries. I'm putting 40 pounds into my household budget, 140 pounds for diesel, 80 pounds for utilities. My sinking funds, we are putting 260 pounds. That's the figure that I got from my tracker. And my tithe so far is 233 pounds. So I'm just gonna add these up. So we have 913 pounds all together. At the end of the month, when I come and close down this budget, I'll put down the actual figures that I have spent and any variance. Coming in over here for my fixed expenses now. So these are definitely the amounts that will come out of my account for each of these expenses. So we have my DVLA, water, my debt, council tax, Virgin Media, my rent, and my insurance. Okay, so as I said, these are my fixed expenses, so these amounts will not change. So I've put in down £13.12 for DVLA, 65.79 for water. So this is my water bill for the current year. The sinking fund I have is for next year. And my council tax and my debt. So my debt payment that I'm making this month is £135. Again, that's the number I got from my debt tracker. My council tax is 122 pounds. Virgin Media is 32 pounds. This is for my internet. And then 1,050 pounds is my rent. And then 66 pounds is my insurance. So I'm just going to quickly total these up as well. So in total, I have got £1,484.43 in fixed expenses. So now at the bottom of the page, I'm just gonna do a breakdown of my overall budget. So I'm gonna put down my income. I'm going to put down my variable expenses and my fixed expenses. Okay, so my predicted income is 2,332 pounds 25. So I've got that figure from here. My variable expenses are 913 pounds. And then my fixed expenses are £1,484.43. So I'm just going to take away these two figures from this amount here. Which means that we're looking at being in a deficit of £65.18. Now, I'm not going to do anything too crazy just yet. It does look like we will be over budget. I should be receiving some extra money this month because I have received a raise from my full-time job and it has been backdated until September. As a teacher, we get an annual increase in our pay and that is due this month. So I'll see how things go. I won't really know how much that will be until towards the end of the month. So I'm not gonna do anything here just yet. 
I'm just gonna go with it. And then when I come in at the end of the month, I will put down my actual figures and then I will see if we've managed to salvage this deficit here. Okay guys, so that is all for now. So I've managed to put down my November budget. I have an idea of where I am going this month in terms of expenses and my income. I'm not too worried, as I said, about being in a deficit because I have a feeling that we will be all right, especially when I receive my increase in my full-time wage I have also filled in my debt tracker and my sinking funds tracker. So yeah, that is all for now. I hope you found this video useful. I hope you found it interesting. If it has managed to help you set up your budget, I'd be happy to hear all about it. If you are new to my channel though, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you are kept up to date with all of my latest videos and I'll speak to you in the next one. Have a good day.